In module one, we specifically looked at how to remove red eyes from portraits inside of Camera Raw. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform this adjustment using the tools available directly inside of Photoshop. Now you'll find Photoshop's red eye removal tool in the tools menu on the left hand side of your working space. Now if you just navigate down to the spot healing brush or press J on your keyboard to uh, actually find that, what we'd need to do is actually click on this icon to bring up a tools drop down menu and if we just navigate to the bottom of that little drop down menu you'll find the red eye removal tool. So I'm going to select that. Now, the first thing you'll notice with this particular tool is that you only have two options available to you, and they're in the options bar just up the top here. You have the pupil size and you have the darken amount. So essentially, how the red eye removal tool works, it works very similar to the red eye removal tool in Camera Raw, except for it has uh, limited options. So what you essentially need to do is basically draw a rectangle or a square over the affected area of the actual eye. As you can see uh, what I've actually just done now and you'll notice that now it's actually removed a certain amount of red from that particular pupil. The only problem is it hasn't actually removed all of it and you can play around with the actual, uh, the actual pupil size and you can also play around with the darken amount. Now, with the darken amount, what often happens is when you actually desaturate uh, a particular color, they usually tend to be slightly on the lighter side. So what often happens is if you desaturate the red from the pupil, what you actually need to do is add some density to it so it sort of blends in with the rest of the eye. So essentially, what I've actually done here, uh, it does a relatively good job. Um, just by adjusting the pupil size and tweaking the darken amount. So if I now go and adjust this particular eye, you'll notice that once again, the first adjustment hasn't been that great. It hasn't actually got rid of all of the red from the eye. I'll make another slight adjustment and now it's, it's actually picked another section of the eye to actually remove red from. So whilst it does an okay job, it doesn't do a great job. So there are actually other ways of going about removing red eye from portraits in Photoshop. So one in particular, uh, if I just quickly go back to my history and we'll just drop back to the original state of this image. One way in particular to quickly remove red eye is to grab the elliptical marquee tool. And what we're gonna do essentially is basically select the areas uh, that are affected in the eyes and just by holding shift down on your keyboard I can add to my selection so I'm just going to add this eye to my selection so now I have two eyes now they're pr pretty rough selections but they'll do for this example and the next thing you essentially want to do when you make your selection is actually feather it so we'll go to select we'll go to modify and then we'll go to feather now I'm just going to add say a three pixel feather and I'm going to click OK so now that that's feathered, what we need to do is essentially add a new layer and that can be a hue and saturation layer. So if we go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we go and click on hue and saturation, just by adding this new layer, you'll notice that now our selection has actually become a layer mask for hue and saturation. If I just hold down alt on a PC or the option key on a Mac, you'll notice that's our specific layer mask with the two white dots in the middle of this black sort of <laughs> vast mass. So essentially what we're going to do is only apply hue and saturation to those selected areas. Now what we want to do is either first apply uh, reduce the saturation overall to the entire uh, color spectrum and that will be based on the master um, option that's here in this drop down menu that's the default just by reducing the saturation you notice now that it's removed the majority of red from the eyes uh, but as I mentioned earlier you will need to actually darken them off in order to make them look sort of natural uh, within the photograph now it hasn't done a perfect job because with this particular eye I've missed out on some of the outer edges here with my selection so essentially what you can do is actually uh, expand on the actual layer mask that I've created here just by going in and selecting the layer mask as I've done here 
uh, selecting white on your color palette just down here and we're just going to slightly enlarge that selection area for both of the eyes. As you can see there, the results are, are quite good. Um, although if you want to be more specific and, and actually more accurate with your actual adjustment, what you can do, instead of doing an overall uh, re reduction in saturation, what we can do instead is actually go and set these back to zero, go into the red um, hue, and we can actually reduce the saturation of the red and also the lightness. Now you'll notice that there are some colors here that's missed because there's a bit of magenta in the, in the eye there as well or in the pupil. So in order to pull them in, all we got to, all we essentially need to do is expand the area in which we're actually selecting with the red hue. So I'm just going to use these sliders to increase the actual um, area of hue that we're actually applying these adjustments to. And now you'll, what you'll actually see is that sort of magenta area that was in this eye has actually disappeared. And now we can proceed with actually just applying a, um, a reduction in lightness value. And that actually gives a more natural result than what we actually had before. Um, so I tend to prefer doing it that way because that way um, it, it just appears more natural to me. Uh, but you're more than welcome to either use the red eye removal tool that's available in the tools menu or apply this particular technique and basically choose the result that you're most happy with.